Let's go to page 321 and start with number 478. It says a basketball player scored an average of 18.6 points per game for five games. Okay, so 18.6 and there are five games, so this gives you the total. Okay, how many points must he score in the next game? So plus x, that's next game, to raise his average to 20. So you have to divide by 6, right? Because there are 5 games plus 1 more game. So the total is 6. And this has to equal to average of 20. Okay, so we go and solve. So you got 93 plus x equal to 120 minus 93 minus 93. So x will equal to 27. Okay, so you have to score 27 points in the next game in order to raise the average from 18.6 to average of 20. Okay, next one, 479. Okay, what's the average of seven numbers if the average of the first two is nine? So average of the first two is nine. So nine times two, they give you the total. And the, average, the last five is 16. So 16 times five, okay? And divide by total of seven. And so this will equal to, uh, you can work it out. So you got 18 plus 80 over seven. Uh, so this will equal to uh, 98 over 7, so equal to 14. Okay, so let's go to the next one, 480. 42 is the arithmetic mean of 30 numbers. Okay, so 42 is the average, and there are 30 numbers, so, the, so, time, so average times the, the, how many, so you get total, right? Now, if 82 and 44 are, are removed, so minus 82, minus 44, so these two numbers are removed, okay? Then what is the mean or the average of that remaining number? Well, if you move the two numbers, then you're going to have 28 numbers left, so you divide by 28, right? That's how you find the average. Okay, so anyway, get your calculator, you work these things out, you get 40.5. Okay. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, 481, it says two numbers, X and Y have geometric mean of 12, okay? So again, geometric mean, is you multiply and you take the square root. So geometry mean is 12. And arithmetic mean, that means x plus x plus y over 2, right? That's arithmetic mean equal to 12.5. So you're looking for x squared plus y squared. Okay. Now again, for this type of problem, normally you don't want to solve individually because it gets messy. Okay, so what you want to do is let's go and get rid of the square root. So square both sides, so you get xy equal to 144. Over here, you cross multiply x plus y equal to 25. Then what you want to do is to get this, you want to square this. Okay, so square that. So square both sides. So you got x squared plus 2xy plus y squared equal to 625. And then you're going to move this over. And voila, that's, your, that's what you're looking for, right? So again, don't waste your time solving for individual value because it can get very messy. Okay, so you can move this over and we know what x, y's are, right? This is the, you can substitute. So x squared plus y squared equals 625 minus 2 times 144. So x squared plus y squared is going to be equal to 337. Okay, let's go to 482. Okay, 482, it says Joanne's average through five math tests was M. Okay, so five, um, so five tests and average is M, so times by M, so this gives you the total. After the sixth test, so plus the sixth test, okay, so divide by six, her average was M. Okay, so you can, so the average of, for the five tests uh, is the, the M, right? So again, there are five tests and the average is M, so you times that to give you the total plus the six tests divided by the six to give you the average of the six tests to give you M. Now, if the teacher then decide to double the weight of the last test, what would be the uh, Joanne's 
LHB. Okay. So if if the tears decide to double, so then you're going to get 5m plus ss divided by 7 because this is counted twice now. Okay. And what will this equal to? So that's what you're looking for. Okay. Well, first let's go and solve for s so we can substitute. So cross multiply. So 5m plus s equal to 6n. So s equal to 6n minus 5m. Okay. Then you substitute this into here. So 5m plus uh, tw 2 times, okay, so, so the s and s, right? So 2s will equal to 12n minus 10m. Okay, so you can substitute into here. So 12n minus 10m over 7, okay? So that would be your average. And then you can work it out. So this would be t uh, 12, 12n minus 5m over 7. And that would be the, the average. Okay, let's go to 483. Okay, 483, uh, the ace of hearts, the ace of the club, the ace of diamond, and ace of spades are facing down. Okay, so we got four cards, and two, di two different cards are selected at, two, uh, at random from the set of four cards. What is probability? At least one card is a red ace. Okay, so again, whenever you see at least one, normally you want to do none. Okay, so that's going to do no ace. Uh, no, I mean, no red. Uh, okay, so no red. Okay, so probably of no red equal to, again, so, so there are two, there are two black ones, and you want to choose both. And there are a total of four, you want to choose two. Okay? And so this would be equal to 1 over, so again, you can go to the side, so C2 to equal to 2, 1 over 2, 1, right? So this is equal to 1. And for choosing 2, this would be 2, 1, and be 4, 3, and so it equal to 6. So it would be 1, 6, okay? So no red equal to 1, 6. So, so at least 1 red, so probably that you're looking for would be 1 minus 1 over 6. So P1 would be equal to 5 over 6. Okay. So again, when you see the word at least 1, um, that means you want to use a compound. It's easier to find none and you subtract the none one. And that way you don't have to worry about all different cases. Okay, okay let's go to the next one. Okay, in a row for 20 tickets are sold, the price will be given. A student buy two tickets. What's the probability that a student have win at least one price? Again, when you deal with at least one, you want to do none. Okay, so, so that's going to do no price. Okay, equal to. Now, so, so the, the one not winning the price, so that means that 18 non-winning ticket you want to choose two okay and uh, over there are 20 total 20 raffle tickets and you want to choose two and again non-winning would be 18 non-winning tickets you want to choose two okay so no price will equal to you can go off to the side to kind of work okay so let's do this on the side so 18 c2 is equal to 2, 1, and this would be 18, 17, so cancel also 9. Okay, so this will give you 9 and 17. And 20 C2 will equal to 2, 1, and 20, 19, so cancel, so it be 190. Okay, so no price would be equal to 153 over 190. So the one you're looking for, probably looking for, would be 1 minus 153 over 190. And so this will equal to 37 over 190. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, let's go to 485. Okay, so you have a, a blue urn. Okay, contains four black and two blue. And a, a black urn, so you got second one. And contains four black and eleven blue. Okay, now one marble is drawn and random from each of the two urns. What's probably that both marble would be blue. So you're looking for blue from here and blue from here. Now since they're independent, you can just multiply. So the blue from here. The blue from here so would be 2 out of 6. Okay? And the blue from here would be 11 out of 15. And when you simplify, you get 11 out of 45. Okay, okay let's go to next one. Okay, a teacher with a math class of 20 students randomly pair the students to take a test. What's probably that, that uh, Camilla and Cameron, two in class, are paired with each other? Okay. okay, so in this case, what you want to do is you want to set it up so that have Camilla as, um, as your base. Okay. And that she's going to... and. Um, and she's going to pair up with other person, okay? And so the probability would be equal to, so to pair up with Cameron would be one, right? That's only, so to pair with Cameron, so this is Cameron, and divided by compared to others, so the other would be, there are total 19 other people, Okay, and so that's your probability, right? So again, the probability that she will pair up with, with uh, Cameron would be one out of 19, okay? Okay, let's go to 487. Okay, so there are three boys and four girls. Two are chosen to give a report. Why is probably that one boy and one girl are chosen? Okay, okay. So probability again event. So there are three boys. You want to choose one, and there are four girls. You want to choose one, right? So probably that one boy and one girl will be chosen, and over here the total would be seven C two. So probability will equal to so three C one is three, four C one is four, and seven C two. You can go off to the side. Okay, so equal to 21. And then cancel. So probability will equal to 4 over 7. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, so the odds are 7 to 15. against uh, winning, okay? So remember, when you're talking about us, this is against, this is, this is not happening, this is happening, right? So that means not winning is that, and winning is that. Okay, so, so what's probably a different horse will win? So if the other horse win means he's not winning, okay? So probability will equal to 7, right? Not winning, the horse is not winning over the total, which is 22, okay? And that's it for um, 488.